This is the ferry to Vashon Island. Huh? Yes. And the clouds were now, you'd be able to see the cascades. The what? You'd be able to see the cascades if we didn't have the clouds. If we didn't there. have clouds, we could see the cascades. But that's okay. We're going to do a lot of tripping over here at Tacoma on this run, baby. Right now, we're going to have some lunch at Anthony's. Yeah. Okay. And for those of you uh, who have difficulty with alternative realities. You know what the name of this ferry is? It's the Chest, Chest, Chestamoka. The Chestamoka Ferry. And here is the Tacoma Yacht Club. That's right, kids. Tacoma Yacht Club. Bamboo fencing around here. The Japanese Garden at Point Defiance in Tacoma. Just what it is. Very fine. Hey, Peg. That's Peggy. Yeah, that's Peggy. Yeah, and here's the little goldfish pond. And look at the size of this sucker. Wow. Very nice. I'm having such a good time. I'm totally relaxed, totally calm, and totally un New Psycho York. <laughs> yeah. Sequoia trees here. Yeah, the sequoia tree, right? Yeah. I just got a shot of that. Very nice, very nice. Get a, get a shot of the very nice. Just what it is. Very calm, very quiet. Now, of course, it ain't the Central Park Dojo, but that's another story, boys and girls. That's another story. Very serene, don't you think? Yeah. Very serene. You hear the gurgling of the brook? How nice. And this is the Pagoda building, which uh, for some reason is uh, not open to the public at this immediate time. But as we uh, move the camera around and pan a little bit, yeah. check out the Tori. Japanese pine, a little miniature shrine. These two red things in front are new. Very nice. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, Around the shrine, the red maple leaves will turn red in the fall. It's very pretty. It's this is like my down. own... Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> very nice, Tori. Empty out and clean the pond occasionally. Little Zen waterfall. As a matter of fact, if you look at the portrait of me uh, in my gi where I'm leaning on the rock, this is where uh, Peggy took that picture. But let me show you something else over here. A little walk. Meditation area. I'm telling you, man, this is a great, wonderful world. <laughs> it really is. Only the best for the working class. And then again, rich or poor, it's nice to have money, but you do the best you can with what you got. And that's what sets you free. That is what sets you free, kids. Check it out. Now this could be anywhere, man. 
ferns. Yeah. There's a little bamboo forest around here. A little bamboo forest. Yeah. All over there. Ha! Huh. For example, here's Peggy just contemplating on what Peggy is contemplating. There you go, baby. There you go. Hill's trumpet and also Devil's trumpet. <laughs> they call what? Angel's trumpet and devil's trumpet. Angel's trumpet or devil's trumpet. Depends who's playing, right? <laughs> oh, wow. Come on over here. These Look at this, man. This is really swell. These are wisteria in the spring. Beautiful hanging purple wisteria. Those are black eyed Susans that, right there? Yeah. But when the wisteria blooms in the spring, you can smell them a mile away. They're so heavy. Sometimes I think that Peggy is much more enlightened than I am. <laughs> I've learned a lot. She, she is time. so together, man. <laughs> And now I know. <laughs> Doing floral photography, I strive to know what the flower species is. Because when I put it on my Zazzle website on a card or something, I want to be able to tell the, the buyer what this is that they're looking at. What are these called? Pa patio? Uh, these are pink roses, no doubt. Well, Peggy would know a name for them. Yeah, I know. But just are. look at these roses and answer this. They're shrub roses. Scrub? No, I think they're shrub roses. Those two, okay. You can just smell oh, the boy. ester. Oh, wow. Nice. Now here are the rose bushes, but I'm going to show you something. This. Pointing right into the sun, it might not show up well. This is a rose. This is a rose. Wow, <laughs> beautiful. The leaves are red, and, uh, I mean, the white and green leaves, they get real pretty. Look at this, I don't know what this is. I know somebody told me at one time, I think it starts with the letter F, but look at this, this, the coloring, and these strange, spiny looking berry things. So I gotta find out. One of the gardeners told me what one time what they were. I couldn't remember the name. I need to write them down. These are begonias. These are Canna lilies, the tropical plant. Marigold. I don't know what these purple ones are. I haven't figured these out yet. Palm trees. I don't know. What are these? There's a label on here. I can't read what it says. But anyway, you can see the fruit on that palm tree. See the clusters of fruit? They'll turn kind of a purple color later on in the season. Can you see the fruit on that palm? The clusters of fruit, honey? 
You see the clusters of fruit on that palm tree? Uh -huh. Yeah. Stand by for the mystery tour. <laughs> I can't read what kind of palm that says on there. It's too far away for me to read. It's kind of a scrappy bark. Doesn't look like they're doing too well. Oh, check this out. These are very pretty, all the canna lilies. Begonias, black eyed Susan, also called Rubeckias. Rubeckias. Yes. Now these are interesting. I don't know what these are. Look at, look at the coloration of these. And very interesting. It's like a plant, like leaves and flowers all in one. Damn woman, you really this got is, it going on. I gotta tell you this something. This is a baby. eucalyptus plant. You got it Smell going this. on. This is eucalyptus. Smell it. Ah. Smell the eucalyptus? Oh, we got some nice stargazer footage. These are lilies, but they're not blooming anymore. They're those big lilies, you know, that you sent me in a uh, bouquet. Very fragrant. I can smell them a mile away. I can't have them in the house. They're very, very strong. Japanese grass. And look at these palms. Now here is the dinosaur, uh, it's called the dinosaur food plant, or giant ganera. Giant ganera. Giant ganera Well, called. of course, yeah. How also could I have called, not known that? Man? It's also know. called the dinosaur food plant because it's humongous. And look at the, uh, the cones that grow out of it. They're giant. <laughs> what a trip. What a trip. All right. This is when you come to take the pictures and you get the intense blue that comes through the branches and in between the leaves and against, you know, the different color shades. It looks really beautiful. Right now it's got all those helicopter seeds still on it. Interesting. And there you have it. The Point Defiance Botanical Garden. Yeah, baby. America is something else. It really is. That's why it's really amazing to me that you all these boneheads that want to destroy our great nation. They must be uh, really stupid. But let's not go into that. I'm having too much of a good time. Okay. On our way to Crater Lake, we stopped off at a place called the Jackson House Historic Site. Now, you're probably saying, what is so important about the Jackson Historic Site? Okay, the Jackson Historic Site was built by this guy, Jackson. <laughs> Very good, Steve. Uh, in 1844, and it became a major stopping off place for all of the different uh, people on the Oregon Trail. This was the uh, an original stop on the Oregon Trail before this whole area became like the Washington State Territory. And just so you know, Governor Stevens and his family spent the night here in November of 1854 on their way to Olympia. Okay, here somebody put some interesting flowers on the gate here. There's my Peggy. Okay, so now only Peggy would know about things like this. Now, also, Ulysses says Grant stayed here. Now, you probably say, what is the significance of this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's a good thing to know about, you know? Because I like to stop off and see things like this. The Jackson House. And... Actually, John Jackson lived in New York and Illinois until he uh, joined a wagon train bound for the Oregon country, married Matilda Kuntz. And so there you go. So this is an interesting thing because Jackson himself was sheriff, tax collector, territorial representative, and justice of the peace. But here we are in... <laughs> 
this great place called Washington State. And here is the actual house he built. The house is closed up. You can't get in there. But he did build it with cedar floors. And this is all original. This is all original, all of this stuff here. Okay, and we're on the way. We're just looking out the window, traveling down I-5 on the way to Portland. Just figured I'd just take a little shot of all of this and see what's going on. It's just really, really splendid. The sun came out, so where we couldn't really see too much of the Jackson house because of the fog, but so what? And here we go, and we're gonna be pointing out all kinds of things. This is gonna be a special, this is a special trip for me and for Peg, so we're gonna share that with all of you folks. Check it out. Just a little more of tooling down the road, just grooving it. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, there ain't nothing to see, Peggy says. And that's exactly Same what we're doing. Same <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to Portland, uh, Oregon, man. Uh, <laughs> Portland, Oregon. Just as much traffic as uh, the course uh, Bronx, man. What can I tell you? And this is midday here, I'll have you know, how you folks know. This, yeah, this is, this is oh, you're shooting Dare video. Air Force okay, Station, yes, yeah. And is. I was here 55 years ago. Wow. And, uh... Well, I'll, we'll take some pictures of you folks as well. It is now a, um, what is it now? It's, it's in private hands. There's, it's, um, okay. there's, a little, um, there's a little company that does training for laborers. Okay. And then back, we'll do it back there. Private school now, a little uh, parochial um, parts of the junior high. This is an old building from Adair days. That building right there behind us with the red door, that's a brand new building where their library is. So they've got uh, a nice mix of new and old in their, in their school. So all of these buildings would have been here, um, Steve, when you were here. Uh, Remember that? And he, yes, we weren't supposed to be there because we were enlisted, but we got in because it knows that. I'm going to tell you something very interesting okay. about, about all of this. This is the Officers Club, the Old Adair Officers Club. Yep. Well, that's hardly a tree house. Well, close enough. What is she? Wow. All right, there's a very interesting story that goes along with this cemetery that I am not going to divulge. Uh, nothing sinister, obviously, but uh, this does bring back some memories. This is one, I think this is the oldest cemetery there is, right? Holy cow. Hey, Chuck. Remember this place? <laughs> you bet. Oh boy. You remember Hazel? We'll talk, Chuck. We'll talk. And this is the valley. What valley is this? The Umqua Valley. This is the Umqua Valley. For all of you who are saying, gee, I wonder what the Umqua Valley looks like. But 
it's good to know because you never know <laughs> when you're going to be on 138 going to Crater Lake and you have to go through the Umpqua Valley. But what else is nice about the Umpqua Valley Road 138 is that we're going to be going through the forest. With lots of waterfalls. We're going to take a lot of pictures there. Yeah. And we'll be following the Umpqua River all along. We're going to be following the Umpqua River all along. That's okay. Oh, that deer undulating hills. That's great. What mountains are those? Those aren't mountains, they're hills. Special mountains. Hills, hills. Hills, those are hills. Those are not mountains yet, okay. Now, this is the North Umpqua River, okay, on the way to Crater Lake. And what's amazing is, no matter where you stop along this road, along this highway, you're going to get this kind of stuff. I mean, it's just, this is like absolutely like Garden of Eden-esque, if you will. And it's just fantastic. It's really fantastic. Yeah, you got the traffic behind, which is no big deal. But just look at all of this. North Umpqua River. And we're going to get a lot more shots when we get pictures of the waterfalls and all kinds of good things. You got it. Just some miscellaneous shots. Just some miscellaneous shots of some fantastic things to see here. Yeah, including this. <laughs> Isn't that great? Isn't that great? <laughs> and Piggy says these are just the hills. I ain't seen the mountains yet. Well, I've seen the mountains. I've seen the mountains. <laughs> and we'll see him again. This is just great. In search of Watson Falls. The Peggy with her walking sticks. And here we go. In search of Watson Falls.
Here's a picture of Peg by the big rock over here at the entrance to the trail up to Watson Falls, which we decided we're not going to do because it's a pretty steep climb and uh, it's about a mile up into the woods and uh, hey, we'll find a waterfall that's not that far from the woods. Wave! Wave! <laughs> this is Diamond Lake. But this is <laughs> Cecil B. DeMille I ain't. Mount Thielson. 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 It's T H I E L S E N. See, now the wind's blowing, so it's not going to be absolutely quiet. But it is very quiet. There you go. And that's Peggy. That's Mount Bailey and Diamond Lake. And what is that? Mount what? Bailey. Bailey? Yeah. Mount Bailey. I'm sure all of you are all very excited about this, but that's not the point. I am. Crater Lake is a six mile wide crater or caldera known as Mount Mazama. It, it, it was a Eruption 50 times larger than Mount St. Helens. That was all the ash that we passed by that along the roadside. And there's another shot of Mount Thielson. Yeah, it was real good with the camera, but that's okay. Another shot of Mount Thielson.